Hi folks, and welcome back for more Let's Play the Pandora Directive. If you recall, we had just gotten, well, a job. And we did a little poking around Tex's office. The first thing we really need to do... There we go, we need to examine So Fitzpatrick's things. staying at the Savoy. Guess I can call him on my vid phone if I need to talk with him. It'll be a little while before we do. But that just gets us a uh, phone number. Ah, my trusty electronic shop credit card. The only way to go when you're out of cash. And considering his uh, recent history, that's been most of the time. There's that. And we have $4,000 in cash. That cash won't last long. We have bills to pay. I'll pick up these clothes next time I'm expecting someone else in my bedroom. Yeah. Find a chance of that. <laughs> this is the certificate and a copy of the check the mutant league gave me after my last case. I used the cash to expand my office, buy some furniture, and pay off my debts. That left me with four dollars and twelve cents. Yep, and about a year later. He's look at that, they gave him ten thousand dollars. He has renovated his office. This is where I shave my face once a month, come rain or shine. Yeah, I gotta keep up that stubble. Indoor plumbing is one of the many luxuries I try not to take for granted. That's the way back to my office. We'll go back to your office in a second. I'll pick up these clothes next time I'm expecting someone else in my bedroom. Yeah, find a chance of that. Yeah, he's not too lucky in love, as you've guessed by now, but... This little thing is kind of interesting. My parents found this in the attic and sent it to me. I remember the pastoral days of my early youth, riding on my trusty Mount Striper, chasing bank robbers and horse thieves. And all that came to an end one summer afternoon during an electrical storm. The lightning struck a transformer near our home, creating a tremendous power surge. It was after the accident that my brothers and sisters started calling me Tex. Whenever I asked them, they'd just laugh and wink at each other. <laughs> I never did find out about that nickname. Too bad he didn't look up. Uh, for those of you that aren't up to date on U.S. geography, yeah, that hole was in the shape of the state of Texas. So now we know where Tex got his nickname. Space Girl Doris. With thrown form-fitting air suit and come hither smile. I still dream of you and a lunar landing. Oh, text, text, text. It's my own little attempt at creative horticulture. Hmm. Ah, the downy fresh hub of my swinging bachelor pad. Yeah, swinging bachelor pad. Even though you have no one over to entertain ever. I can sympathize, really. I'm currently reading the Maltese fruitcake. Family's been passing it around for years. Amazingly, I made this horse out of a single coat hanger. You know, that's not too much of a surprise, really, looking at it. These are designer lights, as if there were any doubt. I doubt it. It's a small miniature camel. I think that's a ceramic dog. Uh, this is some sort of cool thing. Cool thing. I won this athletic supporter trophy in high school. I was the best third string punter in the state. Third string punter. Do they have third string punters ever? The guy who sold me this hormonotron said it would make women obsolete in my life. But I can't get it to work. This door connects to my rec room. And yeah, we need to go in here real quickly. There's plenty of stuff to look around, look at in here. Not much of it is actually very important, but... I call this painting Bleak Landscape. Doesn't look that bleak to me. It's another beautiful night in the city I love. This painting epitomizes my view of women as a gender. You know, Tex, I don't want to get to into uh, your view on women. This photo was taken at the last family reunion I attended. Has it really been 18 years? Yeah, 
Tex has been burned a few times by women. No matter how many lights I have in a room, there's always space for another lamp. This is just a bunch of stuff. In general. A handful of Agatha Christie novels no. and my secret Aladdin lamp. I'm not planning on dusting that baby until I'm ready to retire. In general, Tex is a pretty nice guy. Sometimes. Bit of a bonehead. I'm gonna start using this thing just as soon as I get in shape. <laughs> That's a perpetuating cycle. This barbell would provide a great workout if it weren't so darn heavy. That's kind of the point. My favorite base. This is actually important. One of the few important things in here. Get a little closer so it's easier to actually pick up and grab. I cut this article about Mac Malden out of the newspaper. <laughs> Gives me a good chuckle. Once again, just like the last game, this little clipping by examining it. I cut this thing out of the paper a few days ago. I've known Mac Malden for years. We've worked together on several cases, but I don't know if we're actually friends. We just help each other out occasionally. It's kind of hard to read, and I'm working in a minimized window anyway, so I'm just not really sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it actually says something, but all you can really read out is Mac Malden, chosen, chosen Policeman of the Month. So, there's not much, you know, else in here that we really need to work on right now. There's one thing of note in this room. Most That's of these computer it. components were purchased at a yard sale. The only one I've been able to get running is the little laptop on the shelf in front of the chair. Yeah. The rest of them will just give you that message. That's the only computer in the office that works. But this one... Little laptop. A brick of a laptop. See, CD not found, so we exit. Yeah, we can find... we will find CDs later that go in there, and you can use them. But that's pretty much... The, the uh, newspaper clipping was the only really useful thing in here. We can look at this the This is a big of photo of two horses. Why I have it, why it's actually hanging on my wall, I have no idea. You can look at the rest of these paintings. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Bear in a trench coat. If you look, indeed, that is a teddy bear flashing somebody, apparently. A reproduction of fish and fruit by the mutant surrealistic Saul Dooley. Okay. We pretty much examined everything we need to in here. Work with me. This door leads back to my boudoir. You ain't that fancy, Tex. It's a bedroom. Pretty poorly maintained one. We've looked at everything we really need to in the bedroom, too. So it's time to go to his office. That's the way back to my office. Thank you, Tex, for confirming that. Now, there are a few things we actually need to examine here. This office was a dance studio before I moved in. This alien landscape reminds me of the old Star Trek episode where they get that distress call, then Captain Kirk meets that beautiful woman, then he and Spock barely escape, then Kirk makes that funny joke right at the end. Hey, I remember that episode. It's a great episode, isn't it? This is a breathtaking view of Saturn from the imaginary planet Alpha 19. You know, you figure in this day and age you'd get real ones. Nothing kills these plants, and I, I ought to know. You know, you take that view from this a real This is the planet. only pot I allow in my office. Yeah, he's anti-drug. I got this from my grandpa, Audie Murphy. It was signed by Richie Havens. Grandpa said he was the original singing detective. <laughs> This painting always reminds me of something. I'm not sure what. Guy on beach with dog. I haven't played my phonograph since it destroyed the A-side on my Bill Shatner Sings the Blues LP. I would have destroyed it just out of habit, but okay. This little gem cost me 120 llama cigarette coupons, but I think it's well worth it. Llama cigarettes. Watercolor plate is a lovely reminder of my favorite high school art class. A collection of my favorite poetry books. Someday, I'm going to read every single one of them. That's my prize collection of triples. 
So many Star Trek references. These Gumby figures took third place in my seventh grade sculpting class. Ah, Taco Bob. Got the most stylish <laughs> placemats in town. Still with the Taco Bob placemat. The guy who sold me this said it just might be an unsigned Picasso. It better be, because I paid 30 bucks. Yeah, we... Couple more cases and I'll have this thing paid for. Then I'll start paying off my student loans. And if you look at them a little closer... Yeah, University of Investigation of Utah and Correspondence School of Private Investigation. Took me forever to get this diploma. I had to send in a hundred proofs of purchase from True Detective. You know, we I remember the True Detective magazines being kind of like a smut magazine in the last game. I picked this book up at Rook's for a quarter. It's worth every penny. Okay. Rusty the Clown's Fun Book. The only pop-up book in existence with a must-be 18 years or older sticker. The scanner brings back some truly fond memories. Wonder how Trixie's doing. That's not... This side plate will come in handy if I deeply eat anything that. other than saltines and dog food again. And just in case you think he's kidding about the dog food... Eat the rich dog food. A little gamey, but not bad for the price. Yeah, this is how great Tex is doing. Dog food, folks. I've had this jackknife ever since my weed lobos days. We can pick that up. We can take a look at it. My knife used to have all the cool attachments. Now everything's busted off except the pliers and the standard screwdriver head. And, you know, screwdriver and pliers could come in pretty useful. Not quite about a time yet, so we will take a peek at the stuff on his desk. My new vid phone is essential to my business. Thank goodness it's easy to operate. Now, remember when we looked at the car just a little while ago? Well, we can we can uh, select his name and talk to him if we really need to, but we don't need to. That's a New York Times bestseller, Men Are Imbeciles, Women Are Erratic. My mom sent this to help me with my love life. I've read the first chapter, and I think the author's a hermaphrodite. That's not nice. Even though those books are generally really, really bad. Between my wedding ring and this picture of my ex-wife, Sylvia, I will never, ever forget that women are alien creatures capable of great destruction. Yeah, text, text, text. This picture was taken of my ex-wife on her 25th birthday. Yeah, she was gorgeous. Makes me wonder sometimes why we couldn't make it work. Yeah, if you watch my LP of the last game, then yeah, you kind of know that his wife was not exactly faithful to him and caused him quite a bit of grief, really. Even though I think he deserves most of that grief. Sometimes. Guilty as Most heck. of the time. The gripping saga of All last the night. The soft-boiled P.I. One of these days, I'm going to realize my dream of opening a spelunking shop in the Utah desert. Ritual virility is a guide to scoring with women. Step number one, get rich. So you can see Tex is not the best person in the world here. I borrowed this magazine on my last trip to the dentist. I've always been crazy for the Miracle Nails model. Yeah. Uh-huh. And my trusty lamp. Maybe you can't turn it on, but the lamp is there. I really need to find some stuff to put in here. Yeah, another bill from the electronic shop. I can't believe they expect me to pay for the junk they sell. <laughs> well, if you didn't need it. Nothing interesting. Took me three days of hard work to empty this drawer out. Well, it could just take you a few seconds if you'd done it correctly. This thing sure beats my old desk. I'll get up there. 
These drawers are the holding area for stuff that's about to be tossed out in the trash. Then why not just toss it out? But anyway, we are just about out of time. So, when we come back, we will finish looking around Tex's office. I killed a whole video doing that, and I just did. And we will then go out into the street and start, you know, excuse me, start talking to people. So, hope to see you then, folks. Take care, everyone.